Hi guys, how you all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a fantastic week or weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm back with a update video, long awaited update video. I'm going to do two actually and I'll try and upload them both today. And as you can see, I'm back with a complete head edition collection video. First of all, I want to apologise if I sound a bit dodgy, but I've got a cold and a really sore throat. So, you know, I just apologise for that. I've shown about four or five of my head editions in previous videos and I think I've shown three or four in one video. So the ones that you've seen before, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'll just do a quick run through and the ones that I've bought recently, I'll show you them in more detail. It's just that I don't want my videos to go on too long. Okay, as you can see, we're starting off with the Terminator 2 Judgment Day Skull edition this is the t800 i love this edition this gets crapped upon you know at times because it's a bit cheap plasticky looking but personally i love it and with the sound effects etc it's just great and if you want to be a completist like me you're going to get all the head editions and this is definitely one to have all right guys if you just bear with us i'll take him out and yeah good to be back and i hope you're all doing well like i said nice one there he is out the box, just looks dead menacing and just awesome. And you all know this head edition guys, there's a button on the side here and if you press it, it does the sound effects and his eyes light up. Just awesome. Bad ass eh? Really great. I just wish they'd done this with the the other head edition, the Terminator head edition, but you know, you can't have everything I suppose. And as you know, if we just spin them round, the DVDs pop in the back here. And I suppose you could put all of your Terminator collection in here because it is deep enough. But yeah, it's a cracking edition to have and I'd highly recommend it. You know, especially if you're going for the head editions, it is definitely one to have. Alright guys, I'm going to move on to the next one, so if you just bear with us, I'll be back in a moat. Next one we've got is the Terminator Salvation T600 head. This is the one I was talking about before where, you know, nothing actually happens with the head. It's just like a plastic bust. But, you know what I mean? It's alright. You know, and like I said, if you're a completist, you want all the heads. And this one's a funny one. It keeps going up and down in price. Sometimes you can pick it up for under 50 quid. Sometimes it's way over 50 quid. Don't understand because there are quite a lot out there. But, you know, if you can pick it up for under 50 quid, it's definitely worth getting. And as you can see, it's in a massive box. I've shown this before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them straight out, give you a closer look, and we'll move on to the next one. All right. Cool. There he is, guys. He looks good, you know what I mean, it's quite detailed, but it is, a, you know, kind of plasticky, like the other one, but the other one, you know, it's got sound effects and the eyes light up, it would have been fantastic if these eyes lit up. Another annoying thing about this, it's like they just quickly put them together without any thought, but if I spin around the back, as you know, you've got like this keeper case that slides in the back, but it's got no artwork on or anything. You think they would have made an effort and put some artwork on at least, but it, it's got room in there to house all the collection, you know what I mean? And it's got one disc in there, you know, and you get this slip of paper with a bit of information on, but yeah, kind of disappointing, but like I said, if you can pick it up for under 50, 40 quid, you know, he's worth getting because he looks great displayed. And, yeah, if you've got the other Terminator heads, you can't keep him on his own. You've got to get his buddy to go with him. Right, I'm going to move on to the next one, guys. You're awesome. I'll be back in a jiffy. The next one I've got for you guys, as you can see, is Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the Jack Skeleton head bust. And this is one of my recent purchases, so I will show you this in a little bit more detail. It's a great addition to own. Be prepared though, it is quite hard to find and it does go for over £100. I was lucky I picked it up for about 90 which I thought was a lot at the time. But after getting it and seeing it and now having it, you know, I'm glad I snapped it up because it's definitely worth it. And as you can see, it's displayed in a fantastic coffin shaped box. I'll just give you the 360 very quickly. 
and you've got information on the back all about what's inside just a really really nice piece and I think you can display this either in the box or out the box I think either way it looks pretty good so what I'll do is I'll just crack them open and get them out and show you alright guys cheers there you go there it is out the box looks pretty awesome this one is really heavy as well as you can see it comes with a certificate of authenticity and this one makes sounds and sing songs so I'll just press this button on the side here which you can see Merry Christmas. I think he does about half a dozen <laughs> not say fantastic great film as well I'll just spin him around to see where they house the DVDs and other stuff and you've just got this thing which you pull out here and then inside there's a Christmas hat you can put on him and then the DVDs are stored in this <laughs> Christmassy thing which is fantastic as you can see it's a two disc edition but I think it's a great little touch where they put a Christmas hat in so you can you know at Christmas time you can pop it on his head which is great love it just a bit of card in the bottom there just about the batteries and stuff so yeah definitely one I recommend but like I said it is pretty difficult to find but yeah really really glad to pick this up Jack Skeleton god he is really heavy Alright guys, I'm going to move on to number four. So if you just bear with us, I'll be right back. Next up we've got the Alien Head Edition. This is the 25th anniversary edition. I think this was a HMV exclusive. I've showed this in previous videos or a previous video. So I won't show you around the box and stuff and inside the box. I'll just get them out, give you a quick look and we'll quickly move on. Alright guys, cool. This has to be one of my favourite pieces in the collection. I really do love it. It's really well made. It's super heavy. And I'm a massive Alien fan. It's just just a must have you know, for your DVD room. Because it looks stunning displayed. And it looks absolutely badass. As you can see you've got the 9 disc DVD edition here. Uh, this one's still sealed. I've not yet opened it. But I do have one that is open. And the skull just pops off and in there as you know you house all the nine DVDs if you wish really really cool I'll just quickly show you the front because the front's really detailed and just looks sick amazing super happy I got this you know this was on the wish list for ages and to finally pick up for a decent price you know I was buzzing all right guys I'm gonna move on to number five I think all right I'm getting lost if you just bear with us I'll be back next up we have AMC's The Walking Dead this is the complete second season limited edition zombie head with the screwdriver had to pick this up I'm a massive Walking Dead fan I know there's tons of videos showing this head so I won't go into great detail I'll just quickly get them out give you a quick look and we'll move on because I think this video is getting pretty long <laughs> Uh, yeah, stunning piece and just a stunning series. Love it. All right, guys, bear with us. You'll be going to see ya. There you go. Like I said, I don't need to tell you much about this because you've probably watched tons of videos out there of this edition. I picked this up from Amazon.com a while back. Um, I think you can still pick him up, but I'd advise you to pick him up because I think he's going to be a collectible of the future. And he's just great. I mean, who doesn't love zombies? And as you can see, he's got the screwdriver in the head. I think this is a zombie from the first episode of season two where he's in the RV trying to get into the bathroom and she rams him in the eye with the screwdriver. Fantastic. And you use the screwdriver to just lift his head up, as you know, and then inside you've got the season two Blu-ray box set. I haven't opened this one up yet, but I've got season two on the UK Blu-ray. But yeah, amazing season amazing series and just absolutely badass all right guys gonna move on to number six awesome 
Next up we've got the Predator Head Edition, Limited Head Edition. I've shown this in a previous video so I won't show you around the box etc. Inside the box, I'm just going to get them straight out. We'll talk about them quickly and we'll move on. But this is a gem of a piece for your collection. Pretty hard to get, it is out there but you're going to probably have to pay over £100. And usually more than not, more than £100. So yeah, he's just amazing. So if you just bear with us, I'll get him out for you to have a closer look. Absolute amazing. Over here, over here. There it is, guys, out the box. Just looking absolutely amazing. This Predator head does not do anything, but you don't think he needs to because he just looks amazing displayed and, yeah, absolutely brilliant. So I'd highly recommend picking this up if you can. And as always, it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Mine is 1,131 of 3,000, and this is the UK release. Yeah, definitely a must. I'll just quickly show you around the back where the DVDs are housed. Just a little bit of advice as well, guys. If you do get this, don't clip them in because these are notoriously known for these latches snapping off, which is heartbreaking. So, you know, he's displayed, you know, so you only see the front, so it doesn't really matter if he's just leaning on there like that. And as you can see, it opens up, and then you've got the six-disc pack of three movies, which is Predator, Predator 2, and AVP, Alien vs. Predator. Really, really nice addition, and like I said, he displays beautifully. Alright guys, I'm going to move on to number 7 now I think. Don't worry, I've only got two more to show you and this video's done. I apologise for it being so long, but we're nearly there. And thank you so much for watching. Alright. Well done. Right, as you can see the next one is iRobot Head. This is the Sunny Head. This is one I've been after for ages. I have had this actually a few months, but this is the only time that I could get around to showing you in a video. It comes in this amazing outer cardboard box with a handle. I suggest if you're going to buy this, try and get it with this because it's extra protection. It's got the handle on, etc. And then it's a box within a box and then polystyrene, blah de blah But I'm not going to show you in detail in, in the boxes and around the boxes like I keep saying. I'm going to get straight to the head, show you them and then we'll move on. Alright guys, nice one. Hello Sonny. <laughs> Isn't he amazing? Yeah, I was so glad to finally get this one. It was high on my wish list for such a long time. I know there's just recently been a Blu-ray uh, edition released, but I think the head is exactly the same, same size, so I thought, why am I going to buy it again just to get the Blu-ray box? If I want the Blu-ray, I'm just going to buy the Blu-ray Steelbook from Germany. Sony is probably one of my favourite pieces. Just looks great, and they've really done a cracking job with him. As you can see, you get the two-disc DVD. This comes separate because if you choose to, you can store the DVDs in the back of Sunny. Uh, it also comes with a booklet. Unfortunately, it's in Japanese, but the pictures are great, and it's always good to get more stuff with what you buy. And I'm assuming that's a certificate of authenticity. I'll just quickly spin him round so you can have a quick look at the back. And like I said, all of the DVDs can go in there. I'm probably not going to do that because there's no sponge in there to, you know, to, get, to prevent them from getting scratched, etc. And then, as you know, the back of his head comes off to reveal compartments inside, which I think is a nice little touch. Just really well detailed and it just looks great. So another one that I'd highly recommend. I'll leave that off for now. Right, I've got one more head to show you and then you can get on with your day. So if you just bear with us, I'll be right back. Hallelujah, the last head edition to show you. As you can see, this is Planet of the Apes. This is the Cornelius head edition and this is just an amazing edition. It comes with so much stuff. You've got the six feature films, you've got the complete TV series, you've got two bonus discs and plus you've got the animated series. Big fan of the Planet of the Apes, thought they did a great job with the recent remake and this is one I've been after for ages, like all the others, but this is the most recent one I got, it actually just come yesterday. So I wanted to wait to do a complete collection video. So yeah, made up to have it, been wanting it for so long. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and we'll get them out and I'll show you them in closer detail.
Nice one guys. There he is. How cool does he look? Absolutely amazing. So, so happy to finally have it. I know I keep saying that, but yeah, and for him to be the last one to get from a head collection, you know, it's just kind of great. And I'll quickly show you around the back of him. He's got a cracking hairdo. And round the back, his shirt just lifts up. And then inside you've got a meaty, meaty digipack box set, which houses everything. I'll just quickly get them out to show you. Absolutely fantastic. Spin that round. And then here you go. You know how it all works. Got all of the movies and cartoons and everything. So yeah, just a great piece and to finally complete my head editions is just it's a massive milestone in my collecting history so you know i thought i'd do a video to share it with you and i hope you've enjoyed it you guys are the best well there you go guys the complete head edition collection that is available out there at the moment i know some people are gonna say oh you missed one that dude from futurama the robots do not want him i'm not a fan of futurama well, it's alright, but, you know, I don't want the head. It doesn't look that... It looks alright, but it doesn't look that great. I'm happy with these. These are a must if you, you know, you want my opinion. I think they're amazing. And good luck, guys, you know, getting them over time. And fantastic to the guys that have them already. You know what I mean? Just a must-have, and they're uh, brilliant. I'm so thrilled to have them all. All right, guys, I'm going to let you get on with your day now. As always, thanks so much for watching. You know, I really do appreciate it when you watch these long ass videos. I'm sorry I'm not around more often, but like I've got a really busy life and I find it really hard to make videos and get on YouTube. But, you know, I'll try and make more of an effort. I'm actually going to shoot another video now after this and it'll be an update of loads of other amazing stuff that I've bought over the last couple of months. Tons and tons of steelbooks, rare box sets, limited editions, etc. So if you come by and watch that, that'd be fantastic. All right, guys. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.